What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? Once again, it's Sean Taylor, and I believe that all artists should control their own destiny, which is why I do these on marketing, branding, and business strategy, because that's how you get there. So, four keys to create a strong image is what we're going to go over today. It'll be general, high level, and then I'm going to dig deeper in some later episodes. I'm actually going to make a series out of this. And before I get into things, I want to actually thank Jay Gotham Fiennan, because he's the reason I'm doing this. Just to let you guys know, I do... Pay attention to requests and things on the comments. He did this on Instagram, so now I'm making a whole series out of it, not just making one video. So there's three types of images, then, the way I think of it. Strong visual, this is that Lady Gaga, right? Uh, super strong visual image with the crazy outfits or even Lil Yachty with the red hair. Subtle, this is a little bit more nuanced, right? Um, pretty much everybody has had like a guy or girl in high school or in middle school that is always wearing a hoodie, right? That person you think of that always has on a hoodie. Wearing a hoodie isn't necessarily anything really crazy, but it is a visual image. And once you notice that person wearing hoodie all the time, that kind of feeds into how you think of that person. And you don't even necessarily notice it as their image until they don't have a hoodie on. And all of a sudden you're like, huh, something looks different. Oh yeah, you don't have that hoodie on. Then subliminal, is it really a visual based thing? It's more ideal, idea based. So think of a girl next door, a bad boy or a thug. There's ideas that we have in our head to think about things like this. There are some visuals associated with it, but the image is more about the idea than the visual. So number one thing to know is self-awareness. Everybody should be aware of themselves because you have to be aware of what you're doing and what you're putting off so you can pay attention to what the people are doing and how they're responding to what you're putting off and that way you can change what you're doing to get the response you want image branding all that stuff is literally the manipulation of how people perceive you so know thyself i'm not going too much deeper into this because you know y'all know what i mean just do the work get to know yourself number two environmental awareness know thy surroundings this is the one i gotta dig in a little bit deeper in because people for some reason, they miss it and don't really necessarily understand. So let's start with this concept right here. Group blend. You're only different in some environments. So what does that mean? What it means is different is subjective to where you are, right? Different in one place isn't always different, right? You you do one thing in one country and then you do it in another country. The way it gets looked at is different. In the same way, you look at these guys at the top as well, I mean, they have on, they're dressed a certain way. And even though this guy is front, center, and focused, because that's the way the photo was set up, these guys kind of put off the same vibe. You think of them in the same group because our mind, psychologically, we have a tendency to group things. Um, these guys in the bottom left, I think there's a girl in there. I don't know, but that's a, we group, they don't look like different than anybody or anything. You take any one of these pictures and people and put them in another picture in this group and they kind of stick out right the suited guys they don't stick out from each other even though they all feel like they're being different with their different little um you know touches that they have on their outfits it's all subjective there's an area in, down here in georgia called uh little five points and when you go there everybody is doing their artistic expression in the way they dress but you kind of group them all the same they look like they belong there they look like they're in a group but if a guy in a suit came through there then that guy will kind of stick out, right? So now that person is different, even though we usually think of a person in a suit as kind of just being normal, you know, corporate or something like that. So environmental is huge. Look at this guy, red, amongst all these guys in the suits, and, you know, he's dressed down. Obviously, he sticks out in the same way this guy at the bottom on the right side that I just added into the picture sticks out because he has on this suit. And, you know, even it's a black suit. It shouldn't really make them stick out too, too much, but it does because everybody else is dressed up. I mean, not dressed up, they're dressed down in their own way and he's dressed up, so it makes him stick out. Unless you go to the extreme, right? So if you want to do the suit vibe, think of somebody sticking out in a suit. If you have a whole bunch of people in corporate suits like that guy in the last picture I had, but then you add somebody who's dressed as if they were going to a formal, like a wedding or something in a tuxedo, that person sticks out because they're going to the extreme and just it's a little bit too much per se. And then look at this guy in the picture with Kanye back in the day. He has on this whole jockey vibe. 
the boots with the hat and the green like that and the two <laughs> knuckle brass knuckles that makes him stick out amongst the people who are already trying to do something different or you could do something like add a big ass Dragon Ball Z Piccolo scarf like Lenny Kravitz got has over here and you might stick out as well. So going to extremes, if you want to stay in your same environment, kind of helps people stick out there. But you don't have to do all that. Don't worry about that. We'll go over some of those things too. But number three, understand perception. This is very key because you don't want to rub the people you want to speak to the wrong way. Think about the fact that just the way it is, our society has been conditioned. We've been conditioned to look at certain things a certain way. You think of people in suits in a certain way. You think of people who are dressed artsy or whatever you want to call it a certain way. So we have the establishment, the corporate world, and the anti, uh, the, the, the counterculture, or what I call established anti-establishment, because they have their own rules too. And using that same example and analogy, if you bring a guy in a suit into the art world, they don't necessarily think of him as creative and they don't necessarily resonate with him just from what they see. They don't think there's much in common. And in the same way, you bring a guy into with the artist's look into the corporate world, that person right off the bat might ne necessarily be somebody they take seriously. So you want to be sure, once again, that the image you put off is not interfering with the message and relating to the people that you want to relate to. And the last, this is the most important. I'm supposed to have a four by this thing right here. Be consistent. Be consistent. Consistency is literally the thing that creates your image, your brand. You don't have one without consistency. Just know that. Why? Because if someone sees you one time, they just that's just what you see they see you in. Even if it's something, you know, extreme like what Lady Gaga has on. But that's just what they see you in. But if they see you in that multiple times, one, two, three, four, five times, it starts to create this image of how they think about you. This is really how they perceive you. It's what they think of you. Um, so here's my ending quote that I like. Um, it's, it's probably because I said it, but image like reputation is literally perception based on information gathered over time, right? Let that sit with you and, and just think of the fact that people are gathering data on you every time they see you and the data continues to be consistent then all of a sudden they can't help but come up with one conclusion. If they always see you in a hoodie, the only conclusion they can come to is literally you always wear hoodies. Hoodies are your thing. Hoodies are your image. So hope that was helpful. Subscribe. We're going to finish, go deeper with kind of the form, the last format, the previous format of different artists with different examples of those three types of image. Um, so other than that, have a great one.